Yo guys, what's good? As you know, big fan of cleaning wheels, but not so much a fan that I do it every single day. So I don't get too many wheel tools or things to clean my wheels with. I'm usually just cleaning them with the same thing pretty much every single time. And so today, Nothing crazy. I just picked this up while I was buying some other things. Bam. So this is a wheel brush and I thought this would be nice to have because I can also maybe get the wheel wells. My other wheel brush is really good. But the problem is it's just a little too small. Like look at this and then look at this. <laughs> oh, damn. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit of a difference there. This thing, I, I wanted to make sure I liked it before I did this video and I tested it on in a wheel over there and dang, it makes cleaning wheels so much easier. It's insane actually how easy it was for me to clean the wheel. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that for you guys today. If you wanna know what this is, it's the, um, um, I don't know. I think it's like the wheel well, wheel, wheel bore, woolly wheel or something. I was a little skeptical. It's like $40 for this thing. Like this is a piece of junk for 40 bucks. You should probably pick it up somewhere else. It's got softer bristles so you can use it on the whole wheel. Like I'm talking like this type of the wheel and this type of the wheel without any issues. You can also kind of get into these caliper zones. And then there also is a little bit of room for you to get those, um, uh, for you to get the, uh, wheel fenders, the bender tenders, the wheel wells, for you to get the wheel wells. I feel like Harry Potter casting a spell. Alakazam! No, that's a poker. Um, why can I not? Avada Kedavra. All right, that's, that was sick, wasn't it? So I'm just gonna be showing and demonstrating this tool for you guys today, a long handled Wheel brush is just what I would call it. It's honestly a super nice tool. It kind of saves your back a little bit too. Um, Cause you don't have to get nearly as far down and like getting down low on that wheel. It's so much easier. Like I had such a good time cleaning my wheel compared to normal. I didn't have to scrouch over or anything. I just got to clean it all from a bird's eye view. I just love it. And if you compare it to the barrel brush, it's about the same. Uh, size so if it fits uh, if your bag fits this barrel brush you'll be fine fitting this the beast mode brush is what I'll call it. I've got a little bit of tire cleaner left but a little bit I really do mean a little bit. Yeah. So <sighs> Jeez Louise that took forever. I don't know why I deflated it. Just gonna take care of the barrel. I did just iron decon my wheels. Rusted the crap out of my rotors like instantly, so that was kind of weird. Might have been because they were really hot. I don't know. I didn't drive my car much or anything this morning. It was crazy how much iron build up my wheels had, and I guess I just never thought to use iron decon on them yet. But look at this. Okay, so I'm gonna use the brush now. Look at how much easier this is, golly. Like, it's just so nice. simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse it off now and yeah that's pretty much it. I think it's a cool little tool I just wanted to share with you guys and dang I think that's the cleanest my wheels ever looked. A little bit of iron decon really 
drove it home. By the way, I'm gonna have to do a little video about why you shouldn't use iron decon in the sun. Whew. That was uh, interesting to find out. <laughs> I didn't use it in the sun, no. What are you talking about? You sure about that? It's not like it doesn't say to not use it in the sun. You sure about that? Anyway, we'll do the other two wheels. Uh, I'm gonna be dressing them as well today. So, you know, a little bit extra for you guys, but nothing to go to write home to mom about, you know what I mean? Oh shoot, I don't know why I deflated it. That should be good. I've been getting a lot of mileage out of the wheel cleaner lately. Like I don't have to refill it all too often. Kinda nice. You know, I'll show you guys the iron decon on these wheels just so you can see how crazy it goes. I only did it on the front two wheels. This little bit extra reach is just so nice. Like, check it. I'm not getting in there. Look at this bucket, by the way. One bucket. Let me show you how easy. Again. Demonstrating. It is like a little heavy, or you have to apply a decent amount of pressure, something like that, because it's a little bit more exhausting than using a normal one. Just keep getting random new chips in my rims. Super cool. It's probably because they're painted rims. First, I want to just show you the iron decon because this goes hard in the paint. We here at the One Bucket Army don't like lame views. Huzzah! All right, I'm out. You ready? Like, just look at that. It turns so purple. It's crazy. It's probably because it's hitting right on the rotor. I'm not gonna let it sit too long on the wheels just cause I don't want it to. But bam, look at that. That was sick, wasn't it guys? The iron decon is probably gonna be the most reactive on wheels, which makes sense. I mean, why wouldn't it be? But it's still cool to see it. If you see any light rest after you do something like that, it'll just go off as soon as you use the car. Recommend using the car after you do something like that for a little bit, just to keep it fresh. I'm gonna dress it now. Actually, gotta wait for him to dry. Wait, waiting. <laughs> He's got time for that. We got a bed. So now that the wheels are dry, we can get to uh, coating them. Before anybody comments, what? You forgot to shake it, you idiot. I did. Hello. Yo. All right, never mind. I love this like Timu detailing thing I got. This thing I'm using right now works pretty nice for applying these uh, tire dressings. Which, I don't think I'll get a specific tire dressing again. I'll probably just stick with like a silicone plastic protectant. Like pearl or something. Dang, a lot of hair is falling out though. I feel like that kind of just happens with newer brushes though. What am I doing? Gotta get the last wheel. Shouldn't be all dry by now. Hey, yep. Yeah. Alright, this one will be a close up for you guys. Check it out how close that is. Look at all that now. 
What are you looking at the curb rash? Oh my god, get out of there. So we're gonna give that a few minutes, let it kind of acclimate or whatever you want to call it. Integrate to the wheel. Oh look at me, it doesn't matter too much. Just gonna give it about 10 minutes. Then I'm just gonna wipe it off. And we're done with the wheels. So that was my little demonstration of a new wheel brush tool that I actually really like. I don't buy a ton of wheel tools, but uh, the short handle brush I was using before wasn't that great. So if you have a short handle brush like mine, consider getting a long handle one. It'll make your like time cleaning wheels a lot easier. It's about the same size as a barrel brush. So if you got to carry a barrel brush around, why not just add that? So uh, I'll be back in 10 minutes and uh, we'll hang out or something. I don't know. It's been more or less 10 minutes. Let's just wipe them clean. These angles are just humbling today. Whew. So guys, I know we got a little bit off, off the rails there. I mean, this video is literally titled, like if you look below, it says, uh, enormous wheel brush cleans all and that was like 10 seconds of the video but you know gotta give you something a little more a little extra that's just how i am so hope you guys enjoyed this little video demonstrating that wheel tool super nice not something i would normally get i don't really like just having ginormous and a large amount of tools but honestly it's one I'll definitely be using a lot. I know I said I like the leaf blower, but it's a little more challenging for me to in integrate something like that into my mobile detailing setup. So with that, I can definitely do that. We'll definitely be using that, and it's a huge, huge improvement over the old one. I love it. So if you want the exact link, I guess I'll put it somewhere. I don't really like linking products specifically. I feel like you guys should do your own research and figure out what works best for you. I have been requested in the past to do those kinds of things, so here you go. Here's a giant Lincoln log. <laughs> Trick you sucker. <laughs> but uh nah um but nah um you know it's it's a uh, pretty straightforward stuff so I'll get out of your hair. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, bye.